हेलो एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर सिराज उल अकबैसी आई वेलकम यू इन माई यूट्यूब चैनल टूडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट एटॉमिक इमिशन स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी इन शॉर्ट ए ई एस वाट इज ए ई एस एटॉमिक इमिशन स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी pertains to electron or electronic transitions in atoms which use an excitation source like flame sparks es is related to atoms emission spectroscopy is concerned with the characteristic radiation produced when atoms are excited they emit radiation in the form of discrete wavelengths of light called spectral lines while returning to the lower energy state friends what is the principle of aes the source vaporizes the sample and cause electronic excitations of elementary particle in the gas the second important point excited molecules in the gas phase emit band spectra just remember band spectra the third point is that a molecule in an excited state of energy e2 undergoes a transitions to a state of lower energy even and the photon of energy h nu is emitted where e2 minus e1 is equal to h nu in each electronic state a molecule may exist in a number of vibrational and rotational state of different energy so friend types of spectrum one is continuous emission spectrum or second one line or atomic emission spectrum there are two type so continuous emission spectrum when a narrow beam of white light is passed through a prism it spreads out into a band of seven color on the screen there are seven color diffuse into each other just remember the seven color diffuse into each other the boundary lines between the color cannot be marked look at this picture atomic or line emission spectrum when an element is vaporized in a flame or in an electric arc or in a discharge tube it emits a light of characteristic color i repeat when an element is vaporized in a flame or in an electric arc or in a discharge tube it emits a light of characteristic color the resolution of ray of this light produced color lines separated by dark the spaces so look at this picture you can find the situation now what is the features of a line spectrum each element has its own characteristic color by which it can be identified that is sodium gives yellow color in bunsen flame estroncium gives red color in bunsen flame potassium gives violet color in bunsen flame similarly in a discharge tube sodium glows with orange and red color helium glows with orange and pink color h2 glows with orange red and blue color cl2 glows with orange green color the lines in the spectrum of an element are not have a jardly distributed but they occur in group or series in series the separations between them 
decreases regularly as their wave length decreases. At a certain limiting value, the spectrum becomes continuous. So friend, what is the advantages of AES? Highly a specific first advantage. Second one, extremely sensitive. Detection is possible even in low concentrations. Even metalloids have been identified by this technique. Can be performed on solid and liquid with equal convenience. Minimum sample is required. Rapid results, automated machines give results in just 30 milliseconds used for a wide variety of sample. Disadvantage of ES costly and wide experience is required. Recording is done on a photographic plate which takes some time to develop, print and interpret the results. Radiation intensity are not always reproducible. The accuracy and precision are not high. What is the application of AES? AES has been employed in determining the impurities of nickel, manganese, chromium, silicon, aluminium, manganese, arsenic, tin, cobalt, vanadium, lead, bismuth, phosphorus, and molybdenum in iron and steel in metallurgical process. Alloys of zinc, copper, lead, aluminium, magnesium, and tin have been analyzed. Lubricant oil have been analyzed for nickel, iron, chromium, manganese, silicon, aluminum and so on. If the concentration of metal in lubricating oil has been increased during use, it indicates excessive wear and tear need for engine overhaul. In petroleum industries, oil is analyzed for vanadium, nickel, iron, the presence of which makes fuel poor. Solid samples and animal tissue have been analyzed for several elements including potassium, sodium, calcium, zinc, nickel, iron, and magnesium. It is. ES has been used to detect 40 elements in plants and soil. The following materials have been analyzed by AES ceramics, ceramics, cobalt, nickel, molybdenum, and vanadium in graphite, trace metals impurities in analytical region, trace of calcium, copper, zinc in blood, zinc in pancreatic tissue. So friends, hope this video will be helpful to you. If you like this video, then subscribe my channel and thanks for watching.